bring my team out here, my team, and here's the problem with most people, okay? Most people, can Andrew and Jim hang out here with me and, and Phil, we build this business in teams. I want you to watch what we do today because if you're new, this is relevant to you. You may not have a team like this, but there's a team upline. And that team upline wants more people and more volume. If you've been in for a while, maybe your pump ain't so primed anymore. And you can now reprime it by getting your team to go down on the bottom and do it. So one of my objectives is to show you that all this stuff we do with pumps and the binary pump, the beans, the bean jar, the funnel, the ABC pattern are all the same thing. And if you understand that, maybe it'll start to click, okay? But uh, see, information plus application equals transformation. You gotta prime the pump. You gotta shake the bean jar, okay? <clears throat> So maybe this will help you. So we start out by filling the funnel. You just can't get two people and expect that to make the business work. Now, I know a lot of you think that you're doing the basic five and you've been in the business for a while. I've been in for two years or three years and I'm not making a hundred grand yet. Wait a minute. Right from the get go, don't you agree that in order to be an unfranchised owner and be doing the business, you have to be doing the basic five, true or false? So, right from the get-go, when somebody gets started, they get the getting started guide that starts them on the basic five. And one of the first things that we do is have a trial run. And what does it say in there? What are you supposed to do to just start the clock running? Well, you're supposed to make a list of 100 people because everybody statistically we know has 300 acquaintances or people that they know pretty well. True or false? So you make a list of 100, and you get, then it says, take the top 10 to 20, here's what you say to them, and have a meeting, true or false. And somebody helps you do that, and they might even help you call them. So you get to 10 or 20, and you're, the person showing the plan is pretty good. Andy whips it on them, and they're all excited, and they want to get in. And you get two people in, and you say, I activated! I said, oh no, that's the worst thing that could happen. It's over. Oh sure, you gotta activate to earn a check, but you ain't gonna earn a check unless you build two legs. You just came out of the starting gate of the race and you stalled. This one will hit you on the way home. You just started. Because you're supposed to go through 100 in the first year. Now what's 100 in a year? Two invites a week of the people you know to refer people, because you just don't want to take the first two guys. Does a, a football team take the first 22 players? Does a baseball team take the first nine to walk on the field? Or a basketball team the first five? They're going to have a pretty stinky team. And that's what you got. And if it's pretty good, you want it to be better, don't you? So two a week, figure that out. <clears throat> is two a week much? Ask somebody to evaluate it because they might know the right people. Is it, is it? Two a week times 50 weeks is 104. You can return the extra four. <laughs> but now you're gonna have four to eight in a leg. Now here's the worst thing about it. When you don't do it, when you stop at that two, the worst thing about it is your group duplicates you. And nobody does it. And it comes to a standstill or it just creeps along. But if we all do a hundred, two a week, and if you want to go director in 90 days, do two a day. It's not that hard. It's easier than going to work for eight hours. But you didn't show up to work for a year. And you say you've been in three years? How many weeks did you do the minimum requirement to be doing the basic five to be doing the unfranchised two to three year plan? Yeah, you signed up three years ago, but you only put three months in. So you can set the clock back, that's good news, right?
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is understand that it isn't about getting two people and activating if you want to make $187,000 a year. You guys got to do this because you're the only people I got. And if I don't make it, my group will think that it doesn't work. Is that what you do? Is that what you've done? You little bitch. And you're saying you've been in five years? Every day you're supposed to do two. Every week you're supposed to do two. That's the business. Are you getting this? So those two people say, I don't think I want to do this anymore. People don't quit. They just disappear, don't they? They're hiding from you. So what you're supposed to do is make a list of 100. And you know what? If you're not adding possibilities, it means you don't believe. If you're not sponsoring, it means you really don't believe. Because everywhere you go, people are going to talk about one of three things. How rotten things are, how they wish things were, or what's happening. And after they talk about what's happening for three or four minutes, they start talking about how rotten things are the way they wish things were. I can't help they brought up the business. <laughs> Not my fault. What do you do? Got locked jaw? You don't believe, friends. And what happens when they ask you, what do you do? Oh, I'm, I'm a school teacher. <laughs> well, that's really great. We need great school teachers. Why about saying, hey, I'm in this incredible business where we show people how to save money online and how to refer others and make money. And it's just an incredible business that builds a residual income. It looks like I'm going to be able to retire. Or I might stay teaching, but just as an advocation because I love the kids, but I'm going to be making enough money that I don't need it. Now, that might get somebody interested. Okay, so you fill the bean jar. There's a thousand in here. A thousand. I was going to run a contest, and whoever could guess would win a ticket. I said, I'm not going to do that. Let them buy the ticket. But we fill the bean jar with 300 or 100, and we start to shake it. That means talking to them. That means inviting them to a meeting, giving them a video, showing them some of this stuff. Bring them to, to an HBP. And we do that every week. How many weeks in it you do it? How many days didn't you do it? So you've been in five years? No. When we add it up, how many weeks you honestly did it? How many days you honestly did it? The time clock doesn't count when you started versus the date to day. It counts what you've done every day in the business. So we did that. And look what can I found. I got me some nuts. Joe Cartagena. <laughs> Dennis Franks. <laughs> Pam and Tony Bowling. Some nuts. And it just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, that the biggest nuts always rise to the top. <laughs> but you got to put the beans in. You don't know who it's going to be. I didn't know Dennis Franks. I didn't know Pam and Tony Bowling. They came from other people, from shaking the bean jar. Because when one nut comes in, it's a whole nother bean jar. And I go after those beans. And I do it again and again and again. And if you don't believe it works, what do you think you're doing here? I didn't know none of you. Okay, so let me get my team to work, okay? It's all in the getting started, God. There's what you're supposed to do. How many days didn't you do it? Don't, hey, this is not to condemn you. 
This is not to reprimand you. This is not to punish you. This is to wake you up and to give you a epiphany. You haven't put on three years on the two to three year plan. You only put on three months. Isn't that good news? As I turn the clock back, you're younger. <laughs> okay? So let's keep moving. Okay? 100 divided by 52 is pretty easy to do. Two a week. You can do two a day. Now that's the same thing. Where's my pump? Where's my pump? Oh, we got a binary pump. Okay, but when you get into business, you get a pump. That's all it is, a pump, okay? And if you put in the time, okay, you put in the time and fill the bean jar, we're priming the pump, but the pump don't come prime. Now, if you got a good upline, they may have left a bucket of water for you to pour in it to make it prime faster, and that's the way the business works. But I never had an upline, I and mean, I don't care. because I knew how to prime the pump. Now you gotta prime the pump before you're going to get any income. And that means doing the basic five. That means doing these fundamental things. So we start priming the pump by doing two a day, by having a goal statement, by doing the basic five every day and every week. And we break it down to what we gotta do every day because if you let a week go by, you won't have done anything if you didn't do it by the day. So do you not go to work for a week? Do you not go to work for a month? How do you expect this business to work if you don't go to work? And prime the pump. You were given the pump. It's worth $100,000 and you let it sit there. Prime the thing. That's all there is to it. Okay. So, we got this binary pump here because we figured out how to give unlimited people pay. Every other business has this horizontal thing where you gotta work really hard and build a lot of stores, or a lot of insurance agencies, or a multi-level, a lot of distributors and competition, okay? But this pump works. Now, you know how I know <coughs> you're not <coughs> doing the fundamentals of the business, but that you can do them? Jim Winkler proved it with the uh, call workshops. People sitting in the business for a month, three weeks, a year, two years, three years. And you know what? Some of you old timers, I love you. And you got a hall pass. You got a pass, you're excused because you're here. You're, you're, you're out, you can't, be, you can't be accused of anything. You're here. That's the main thing, man, you're here. Okay, but your pump is losing its prime. And you ain't pumped it in two years. Maybe you ought to give it a little pump. <laughs> and another little pump, it ain't that hard. Because Jim proved it. He takes people, puts them in a room, they get together, they get a list and they start calling people together and look at the results. 532 appointments, 48. Uh, what what's is what? It? Only 48 people asked, what is it, JR? You These explain. two examples, 532 appointments booked, that was in three hours with one group. 48 people of all the calls we made, only 48 people even asked what they were booking an appointment to, and only 22 people said, no, I don't want to get together. Now, we do this every Moving Up seminar. Look at the next one. This one Elizabeth and I did together. 646 appointments booked in three hours. 77 people asked what they were booking an appointment for, which means 580 people just booked it without asking, and only 56 people said no. If we do the work, we're going to make the money, guys. That's all it is. So all you gotta do is do it, you see? Information doesn't equal transformation. You know all this. Information plus application equals transformation. That changed things for those people, simply by doing it. So if you do the basic five, you do the daily things, it's gonna happen. So that's the same thing as priming the pump. 
and some of you have unprimed pumps. We just need to go back and do some of those things again, and that pump will work better than ever and start priming. Does that make sense to you? Am I reaching you? You see? Okay, so <laughs> it's the same thing as doing a little bit every day. Breaking down, what do we got to do in the basic five every day? To reach what we should do every week. To reach what we should do every month. But if you don't do it every day, and then you don't have two people invited in a week, and you don't do your goal statement, you don't do the retail, you don't go on the portal, by the end of the month, nothing's happened. So a year goes by, and when you add it up, you put in less than a month. So that the good news is, the two to three year plan didn't click, but we simply take the little steps that add up to the big steps, and they're things that anybody can do. Do you agree? So we go to work every day, and we accomplish certain things every week, and that is priming the pump. Do you get the analogy now? Okay, so how many people are going to go back and prime the pump? Okay. Now, think about this. If you did the bean jar and primed the pump and did what Jim's been doing with these people, and your, your group duplicated you, just like they duplicate you when you only sponsor two and stop, which they do, don't they? What would happen to you? Well, you would have, you would have four to eight people in a leg. And you see, I don't know where anybody got that you only put two people in. That didn't come from me. You built two legs because I came from something where you had to build 10 to 20 legs. And I know it didn't work. And I thought, what if you could put all that into two legs and make more money than with 20 legs? That's what it's about, you want to know? So if I do four to eight, I was doing eight there. If I do four to eight in my binary pump, my binomial pump, I don't have to work all of them. They're all working together. And if they each do four day, and they each do the four day, you'll have people be hitting director in less than a year. Multiple people because of exponential growth. Do you get this? Oh, man. Okay, so I'm getting carried away. <laughs> okay. Uh, So we had to move the clock back, guys. We had to move the clock back. Uh, some of you get into business and you're on a treadmill. You're on a treadmill. But the clock needs to go back. So give me the treadmill. The thing that we do in the business to get people out of the job, the 45-year plan, is to get, what is this? Okay, move the clock back. You thought you were in three years. We had to move it back to three months. Because when we count up how many days you actually did the staircase, how many times you actually did in a week at least two people, it only comes up to 90 days. Yeah, you signed it three years ago, but you've done it 90 days out of those three. Maybe it's whatever it is for you. It's personal, right? But what are you going to do? Lie to yourself? Whatever it is, it is. Set the clock back. That's good news. You just got younger, man. Okay, so you get on the treadmill. People are on the treadmill, right? Where's the treadmill? Am I in the right order <laughs> or out of order? You're doing good. You're doing great. I don't have no treadmill. Okay. We, we got a treadmill coming. Tell me when it comes up. We see information okay. requires oh, application. So when we talk about the treadmill, this is what you're getting people out of, correct? And. We have a pretty good deal, don't we? A good, pretty good argument, a good, pretty good solution, a pretty good alternative for them. So you're taking them out of that. That's what we do. And they get into the unfranchised. But then what you do, many of those people that get in, and maybe you too, you get on another treadmill. You make the business into a treadmill because you do it your own way, not the unfranchised way. You're not priming the pump every day. You're not climbing the stairs. 
You're not doing the little things. And I'm not here to reprimand you or commend you. I'm here to wake you up. You haven't been in for three years. You've been in for six months, three months, whatever it is, because you got to stop doing it the wrong way. And you got to come down here and do it the way we're going to show you. And then you're guaranteed to be hitting those checks. And who guarantees it? You do, just like I did for myself. And that's why you're here. Does that make sense? So are you the clown making the business into a treadmill? Or are you getting it off and doing it our way? See, that was your way. It was the wrong direction, okay? And it comes down to this. 100 possibilities in the jar on the list. I'm gonna do two a week. For 52 weeks after one year, I'm gonna be making it. I'm gonna do the shopping annuity and cut the people in half. I'm gonna do the little things that they're talking about in the basic five and measure them. And then it happens. Okay, so that's the binomial pump. Okay, uh, now, a lot of people don't understand the difference between this and MLM and what the, the brilliance of this system is. So where's my MLM person? Is it? Uh, oh, talking about Chris. Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris Blasco. Okay, Chris, okay. And you just, the business isn't about just sponsoring to uh, yeah. or activating. I hate when someone says, I just got my kit. I said, oh my goodness gracious, isn't that wonderful? What's in it? I said, open it up. And so they open it up. I say, there's something really important there that I want you to see. Look for it and tell me when you find it. And they're looking in it. I said, look in the box. They're looking in the box. I said, what am I looking for? I said, notice there's no people in there. I mean, it really doesn't mean anything. But you see, in most businesses, you have to build horizontally in order to be profitable, in order to create a differential. It's they're antiquated systems. And I don't care if it's insurance, real estate, stores, franchises, they all work that. Multi-level is the worst because you've got to duplicate it for each person again or they'll leave. So it's a multiple of the work. <laughs> so what you've got to do is prime all these pumps. I'm going to start when we start, though, because we're going to have a race. All right. Again, I know that you are a marathon runner. <laughs> So uh, you ought to be pretty good at this. Okay, so at any rate, uh, that's how it works, but we changed it to this. So you do all that sponsoring, but you still do four to eight. You still do two a week. You don't stop after two. Does everybody get that? That's what I do. What's wrong with that? You don't have to do any more work because everybody gets more excited and works together. <laughs> okay, so. There's two ways uh, to build the business. Listen carefully, and I'll get you. You don't want to do this way. Some of you make the business into this, and some of you, okay, don't understand the difference and don't appreciate how magical and miraculous and incredible our opportunity is. Okay, so at any rate, uh, one way to build is Slam a lot of mud against the wall and hope that some of it sticks. In other words, show a lot of people. Get a lot of people to look at it, okay? And it's luck. And you might hit the right person, but let me tell you something. In order to show it to a lot of people and not actually build it with them, to find somebody who says, get out of my way, I'm going to tear it up. Some people get lucky, don't they? And they go on and build it. But usually they end up half rich because they only get one leg. Anybody that has one leg that's solid is half rich. <laughs> Why would you quit if you own real estate on Times Square, okay? You keep making the payments because someday you're going to find a renter, and when you find a renter, you're going to be rich. That will hit you on the way home. Okay, so you might want to learn how to do this, what we do, because it's a sure thing. We control the result, okay? But at any rate, um, you, uh, you want to build by luck? It's like going to the casino. Now imagine this. Go to the casino, and where's my man? And this is how some people build. 
They go to the casino and you're going to get unlimited chips. Think about this now. Unlimited chips. And I got Christian here. He wants to build the business fast and he wants to find people who are just going to go out and do it. And he thinks that he can just get two big hitters or two stars and he'll make a lot of money. And you know what? Sometimes that happens. And I'm not saying that you can't build it that way. So if he gets unlimited chips at the casino and every time you run out, you get another load, you would eventually win, wouldn't you? It would be inevitable. Probability would be on your side. So as long as he's getting chips by filling the funnel, and he's going to lead a lot of them, he can win. But if he runs out of chips, he's in trouble. So maybe he better learn this method too to get the other one. Okay, so go ahead. Play your heart out there, Christian. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to show you now how I built Market America from scratch. I got to tell you something. If you don't believe it works, I need to, I don't, I'm not saying this egotistically, but you're all in my downline. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so there's something to it. And it's a method of controlling what happens and getting people to succeed without them knowing it and getting them to lead to the people. They're just kind of in the way or the material, the clay that I mold it with and I move so fast that I make it work first. And I get people to lead to people and it's infallible, it's a science. It works every time, okay? So you just might get lucky in the process of doing this and get a big hitter or get a star, but you're not dependent on it. And if you get one, you're not half rich because you built the other leg because it's a binary pump. It's just making sense, okay? Uh, so, we just have to do it, the, the, you know, the right way. We have to do it the right way. So, let's get started. We got the bean jars, right? We got the bean jars. Where are they? Well, they're at every house. And I got my nuts. I threw my nuts out, so I need some more. <laughs> okay. Fences. Fences. Okay, so now, uh, you can start as soon as we start. So, here's what's happened now. Here's what happened. I had my nut and it came to the top and it was Benson. Benson. We all know Benson, right? He's one of our young stars. Now, I have my team with me. A lot of you have a team and you have unprimed pumps or pumps that are slowing down or you would like to get more people earning. I always bring my team and we work together with the new nut because we're going to build it fast. Now, if you're the new nut, you want to go to the team and get them to do it with you because every leader should be looking for a nut that wants to build it and wants them to come in and prime the pump. Do you agree with that? So if you're new or you're just, you know, not growing fast enough, fill your jar, shake it up, get some nuts, and get the team to come work with you. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is his jar now. Because huh? we're at his house. So am I on the right slide? You get me on the right slide. So uh, we go to see him one-on-one. -on -one. We go to see him at his house. And it's important to go to their location because there's something magical about it. Yeah, you can invite them to the UBP. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You can invite them to, to you know, a, a, a public meeting. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You can do it over a webinar. You can do it online. That's all great. You should do that. But at some point, if I get together with him in his location, whether it be a coffee shop, his house, the community room, or whatever, something happens. It becomes his business. And people see it that way. And something happens in his head, and then people tend to duplicate that because everybody that comes into the business always repeats what was done with them, even if it's wrong, and it's almost impossible to correct. It's kind of like the little ducklings following the mother duck. It's called imprinting, 
or the little geese following the mother geese. They follow in two lines and they learn how to peck, how to walk, how to swim, and how to fly just by following, and they don't even know how it happened. But that's what happens to people in the business, isn't it? Think about it. So we want him to do it the right way, and we want that to duplicate because after three months, if the only meetings are here at our house or our building, okay, or, and we don't have other people doing meetings, you're not going to have a UBP with 200 people. It's going to plane out, flatten out, because you're the only one showing the plan and doing it. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're at his house. So shake the beans off. Shake it up. So we're helping him call people. He's sending them videos. There you go. We're following up with them. And look at that. He got four nuts the first try. And really two of them, really two of them are really enthusiastic they are. They, they want to be coachable and they're ready to make it happen. Okay, okay? so the best nuts, we want to book a meeting with them at their house. Right, so we have two people, Jared, two people. We have Jack yeah. and Mary. So Jack okay, and Mary. Okay, so let's pick those two people. Jack and Mary, come now, on we're not going to leave the other ones out, right? <clears throat> they can come to the same meeting and we'll go, go to them later. But now, after showing him the plan, we are now going with him to these two people's location. Now, if they have to come back to this house, that's fine. If I have to see them some other way, that's fine. You got to do what's happening. But my goal, the first down in the football game, and you don't, you don't, you want to get the first down. That's the follow-up. 20 yards, 40 yards of scoring is getting into their house. But I don't want to have a turnover. That happened to Denver, didn't it? I don't want to have a turnover. I want to keep the ball moving down the field. And if you don't get the follow-up, you got a turnover. How many people understand that? Okay, so, so JR, being that, we're now JR, being that we're starting this, you know, this this very controlled process in developing the business. At the same time, Christian, of course, is trying to get lucky over there. But also, Chris over here, you know, thinks yeah, he's gonna make it multi-level marketing. Now Chris is building the business the MLM networking way. It's a different company. We have the miracle solution for this. But he's working hard, so what's next? He's working hard over there. He's yeah. trying to get lucky. So what we have to do now is if you want to talk to Jack about getting a meeting into his location, <laughs> right? Hey, so Jack, I noticed that you really seem to pick this up fast. Yeah, and I know that you have some questions in your mind. The best thing we could do is get together and get those questions answered. But at the same time, you might want to have a few people evaluate it. And uh, the reason you might want to have them evaluate it is because they may know the right people. We're not going to try to get them in, but we simply tell them that we found this incredible idea where people can earn money by shopping. And it's an online business, and it can actually develop a residual income, and people really do recommendations and referrals this day, and they actually track it so it develops you an income. I think it's amazing, but I'd like to see what you think. And you know, if nothing else, you might know the right people. Okay? That's all we say to them. And you can say, you got the connections. You're tied right into me, and then I'm going to be coming over. So I got Tuesday night and Thursday night open. Which would you prefer? You give them a choice of two things. And you can I get want. some people together, right, Jack? You get the people. Now, if you need me help call any of them, I'd be glad to do that with you. Okay, let's make the list and talk about them, and I'll tell you how to talk to them. Yep. So that's how I do it. That's perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to support Benson and take go ben, with Benson over to Jack's house. At the same time, you know, Sue over here, I mean, Mary over here is a nut, and she's going to have a meeting over at her house, and Phil's going to support on that side. And they happen to live in Long Island, right? So they're going to be building, okay, the other leg. Phil's on our team doing exactly the same thing that we're doing in this leg. And we'll probably combine some as we go along. But Phil's going to mirror exactly what we're doing here. We do it down two legs at once. So let's keep going. Okay, so uh, now. Let's have our A people so come let's have the people come over who are on the A level. Our A level people come on out. I'm having a little trouble, so you use the phone. Okay, so. What's that? I don't worry about getting the person in. I don't worry about signing them up. I don't ask them if they're going to do it because I got a nut and I want to get to their bean jar. 
because there's another 300 people in there and it might have a Dennis Franks or Elizabeth Weber in it. Do you understand that? And the way I get them in is by making it work first. So I say, look, you have to see this thing three times before you can actually uh, become involved because we want you to understand it. Okay? But then we do a test run. We do a trial run. And there's so much here, I know that it could be mind-boggling. You know, if you understood this whole thing, God bless you, the smartest people in the world. I didn't understand the whole thing the first time. Okay? But what I want you to do is test it out with me. Because i got to find out if you're the right person for me to put the effort and work in, and you need to find out if it'll work for you. So let's do a test market, and we'll book a meeting for you to tr test it out, to explain it to some people. And all you need to do is be enthusiastic, coachable, and follow the system. So then we set a date for the meeting, the location, and then I go over the getting started guide with them because it makes them comfortable because they see how we do it and what's going to happen so it's not a mystery to them. And I just walk them right into the process because I'm going to do it with them. Does that make sense? Well, we're not signing them up. Okay, so next. And we also, it's worth mentioning, we use the first page in the getting started guide to make a list of people, do exactly what said you that. said. Perfect. <laughs> so now we're over at Jack's house. Right, he's still trying to make it happen. They're focus. trying to get lucky. So he's going to shake the bean jar. You getting lucky yet? You know, this is a lot easier on me than it is on Chris, JR. I'm just here helping him out a little bit. Nice and cool. How's it going over there, Chris? Keep working, buddy. So notice we're priming the binary pump down two legs at the same time. Time. And some, now some new nuts emerged over at Jack's ah. house. Ah. Okay, so now that we shook the bean jar, you understand that these people were in the next bean jar oh, because we found a nut in the first one and we went to their location. Do you get that? Not my house, not back at the hotel, their place. How many people got that? It's easier for them to get the people there. So now we're there, and we're going to take that person. We who found it. We found another nut right okay, here. What do you, how do you help her get people to the meeting? You know, she was telling me she's a little nervous about it, even though she's excited. And as we were looking out in the crowd, we were helping Jack here find who had the, the most interest. So we're talking, and what we're going to do is get some people over to your house or your apartment. We'll do the work for you, just like we did for Jack. And this way, we're going to know whether this is going to work for you whether you, w w before you've even started. So there's nothing to be nervous about, because if you have some people who want to get started, this is no decision for you. It's a no-brainer. So she gets a bean jar. She, she gets a bean jar. Because she was a nut that rose to the top, and she's another bean jar. I don't want the nut and get the nut to sign up. I want to get to the beans so that I get more nuts. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Now, Jay, so another point go. here, you know, after this meeting, you had a couple people that really weren't interested. The timing wasn't right. Maybe they're going to become a customer in shoponshop.com. Maybe they're going to buy a Market America brand. But a couple people were interested in learning more and seeing the presentation again. So now we're going to go over to, Mer to uh, uh, what's your name? I know your name's Ruby, but your name's not Ruby on the presentation. But we also may book follow-ups with them individually but we also have her meeting to bring them to. So we're gonna okay. move to B level. And as we okay. said, some of the people right, may not have an interest and they may be, maybe they're gonna become customers. Right, some of okay. them are gonna move we'll down here down. with us. And oh, then even we're a gonna... marathon runner can't do it. No, oh, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. In a different world, in a different part of town, you can sit in there. there was a guy building yes, one of those things there was a guy, wait a minute, don't take him away yet. Maybe we should get him over here. He worked really hard. Maybe we should revive him and bring him over here. Because he worked really hard. Now understand something. Did you see him pumping away? Huh? In eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Where's the slide? Did you do it yet? Of this. Okay, is that slide going? Watch, this is what he had to do. Yeah. I don't see the slide going. Okay. He didn't uh, prime a binomial pump like we're doing. He had to prime 
12 at one time, okay? And he wore out. But then he has to get each one of them to prime 6 to 12, which is nearly impossible. We're doing it down two lines, everybody working together so that everybody earns money because they're not in competition and it creates synergy. Do you get the brilliance of this? But that doesn't mean you put two people in and stop. You can put four in, six in, eight in because of two per week. Is everybody getting this? Okay, so let's keep the uh, binary pump priming. What's next, Andrew? Now we're, we're now at the B level, right? We have some new guests getting ready to see the plan. We're still priming the pump. And we're going to shake the bean jar again. That's all I'm doing. So we're just Body repeating the process. That. Now Jack's feeling a little better. He may have talked a little bit at the meeting. And notice something. Andrew, myself, Vincent, and Jim are all at the meetings. Why? They're learning by doing it with us. And they're helping follow up. And he's rising as the leader to them. And at the same time, hey, we're booking follow-ups. There's too many people for one person to book all the follow-ups. So we want to get four first downs, four touchdowns by getting into those houses. But if we don't get into every one, we'll bring the other people to one of the meetings or book personal follow-ups with them. Whatever it works, but we're not going to fumble and we're not going to have a turnover. Does everybody understand that? I'm driving. Jerry, look what happened though. It was like Christian might have got lucky here a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, Chris, it's because you were filling the funnel with lots of chips and you didn't have to pay. As long as you had chips, you could play. And eventually, you're going to hit. So congratulations, you got a star. But you're only halfway rich. You got to get another one. So you better keep filling the funnel and the bean jar. Okay. And after every meeting, too, Jerry, we're looking to get people. Is he out of chips yet? Not yet. Yeah. He's still trying to get lucky. Okay, so. So here we go. We're doing it again. So the next objective is go to the C level house and do the C level meeting. So we're still at the A, though. We're at the A? Okay. Let's go through we're here. We're at B now. We're going to go to the so C we're level. At the a do we have a nut? A. She shook the bean jar. Who's see my the nut? Nuts are. There's my nut right I there. Know. So what are we going to do? Right, He's right. excited about it. We're going to repeat the same right. process. We're going to talk to him about holding a meeting, getting people over there. Now, what are all of us doing at this time? We're not only helping book follow-ups, we're bringing our own people. Benson's continuing to build and bring people. And the meeting's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So what happens next? Some of the people are going to become customers. Some of the people are going to, we're going to add all the new people. Let's move to your level and head over here. One more thing. So at the meeting, when I say at the end of the meeting, don't worry about understanding all this. My goodness, if you understood the whole thing, God bless you, you're the smartest people in the world. There's a lot here. I know you have questions, but you chose the two to three year plan over the 45 year plan. And the question in your mind is, will it work for you? The question in my mind is, if you're the right person, and if you're enthusiastic and you uh, follow the system and are coachable, we can test this out and find out if you're the right person and if it works for you. So it's a win-win situation, really no risk. And I got Wednesday night and Thursday night open. Okay, which would you prefer? When I say that, it's like, attention! The whole group, when they hear that, gets out their handheld. Listen, they get out their handheld and they turn to the person next to them and say, what did you like most about what you saw tonight? Or you really seem to pick this up. We need to get together to answer your questions and show you how you can make that money. Does everybody follow that? So when the presentation is over, it's not the meeting. It's when I end, the meeting begins. Because it's all about the follow-up. If we don't get the follow-up, the meeting doesn't count. Does everybody get that? So which, I'm training. Which JR is 
is exactly why it becomes so important that there's multiple members of us going to each meeting. It does two things. One is it helps us book the follow-up, because you know if there's one or two of you and there's 10 or 12 people, we're not gonna get to everyone fast enough. We've seen it. They walk out the door and nothing ever happens. So we gotta have enough people to take care of this. The second thing is, we're bringing teammates that we may be getting back in the game again, and now they're getting excited because they're there. This is gonna be part of their business while we're doing this. So here we are at sea level. Look at this well, room, JR. when there's this many people. JR, 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 can I borrow some money? What's the matter? Didn't work. You ran out of chips? You're half rich, you got one guy. You stopped filling the bean jar. You stopped filling the funnel. Well, you know, I told you, if you would turn on the social media funnel, once you turn it on, you can't stop it. And you would have more and more beans or chips going in there so you could keep playing and you would end up winning. But you didn't do that. So you better learn how to do this, this way because you're half rich. And you know what? You don't got any more beans and you didn't turn on the, the funnel. Where's the funnel? Once you turn on the social media funnel, you have a constant flow of people. Even when you get one person and you're half rich, That's right. that was great. because you got a leg building, you still need another one. So if you're gonna play by luck, you better make sure you have enough chips to find the second person, or learn this way where you control it. Now there's one other thing that I'd like to point out. When it gets going like this, and this is a young, excited, smart, entrepreneurial group, and we're starting to build, sometimes I will tell the person that I brought, or the person I'm working with, say, listen, at the end of the meeting tonight, there's gonna to be a lot of excitement. There's gonna be a lot of people that wanna see me, and you're my main guy. And I really think you have the potential to do this. You know, we're gonna sit down and show, show you, a, you know, a plan and do a test market. But I'm concerned at the end of the night, I only got two nights open, that I'm gonna be swamped and not be able to book you know, a, a, a night for you. And that would really be disappointing probably for both of us. So yeah, look, why don't we set it up right now so at the end of the meeting, you got the night that you want. And we need to get together again anyway, right? So let's just set it up. Are you getting this? So I set up the follow-up and score the first down before the play is run. You go on. That'll catch you on the way home. Now, now we're over <laughs> on the C level. Now Benson has been going through and seeing this. Is Benson gonna be doing a lot more at this presentation? And we could do a commentator where I'm there to help him if he misses something, but at the same time, I wanna to start to give he him the power of doing things, because if he I don't, I'm always gonna to have to do it. And JR, another thing's gonna happen here, it yeah. starts to split a yeah. little bit, something like branch off, doesn't it? Exactly. We, we get too, too much activity so on this. So I have Andrew, I, got, I have Benson, I have, I have uh, Jim, and I have Jack, and we're all working together. So we book a meeting in this leg on Monday night, a meeting in this leg on Tuesday night, a meeting in this leg on Wednesday night. Are you a leg? <laughs> and on Thursday night, you guys look alike, you brothers or something. <laughs> okay? So, I, I tell everybody uh, that's in this leg, on Thursday, you can come to this meeting. Okay? On Tuesday, you guys can come to this meeting. And on Wednesday, you guys can come to this meeting. But we still have your meeting. So, I am quadrupling what I'm doing each night by combining the meetings, but also driving it individually, A to B to C, in their locations at each leg, okay? It gives more meetings for everybody to use, drives each leg, creates more body enthusiasm, more learning, and we go four times faster. Everybody see that? So we're, we're creating combinations going on Combinate. right here, so that people, instead of the one night, we've got doing the four. the same thing. Same thing's happening here, right, Phil? That's right. Phil's Maybe. got the exact same so thing what is going that? on over here. Priming the pump, filling the bean jar, taking the nut and moving it to the next bean jar in their location, shaking it again because they lead to people. 
I don't know who is going to be the Dennis Franks or the Elizabeth Weber, but somewhere down in there, somebody will rise to the top and prove it. But it doesn't matter. I didn't try to sign them up. I got the people. I made it work. They're begging me to sign up because it's working. Does everybody understand that? I mean, at this point, JR, people need OPC. They want OPC3. They want to have their shop.com site set up. You know what I mean? So now it's time for the partner now. Are we at that point? We're at that point. We're at See? that point. Okay, so here's what happens. Listen carefully. I went from A to B to C very quickly. Benson doesn't even know what happened. He didn't even make a decision. He didn't even sign up. But I already have 12 people in the group. Now somebody says, I want to get that fast start kit. I want to order some OPC3. I want to go on the shopping portal and shop. I need to get a TV. So what do I say? Say, how's everybody going to get credit for this? If they buy it now, if they go on, okay, you know, you're going to get credit for it, or you're going to get credit for it. Do you guys all want to get credit for it? Are you ready? It's working? Well, we have to go to partner now then and all link up so that everybody gets credit. Presto. We stop. We have a sign-up session. It doesn't take three hours like it used to. Everybody just goes online. Presto. They buy the fast start kits or the OPC3 or go online shopping instantly. He's a coordinator or executive coordinator. The next week, we got two coordinators. Instantly. When they get a check, they realize that Santa Claus is real. <laughs> okay, now what type of credibility does that, that create? Okay, so now what happens? Where are we? Well, a new leader has been born at this point. Huh? A new leader has been born at this point. He's seen the plan so many times. We've supported All him right. by working from house so to now house. we're going to move to the A1 level, right? And the same things have happened again. We do the next trial run. We get their email at the end of the meeting because we want to send them some information. We always get their email, pass the, the pad around, and we give them some materials uh, that you have to get back. That guarantees the follow-up. So we did the same thing. We booked the follow-ups, and now we're going to be on level A1 in the next house. Now, at this point, Benson has been with us for probably six to eight meetings. And as we went along, we had him help show the plan. He didn't show the whole thing, but he got out there and he, listen to this now, he would be explaining the two to three year plan, just following the slides. And Andrew or myself would add in, and you know what, that's exactly right. And you know, when that person realizes that just by doing this and having a, a trial run, they can end up having an unfranchised too. They end up becoming involved, and now you have two vice presidents that are ready to do it. And that's going to end up earning you a tremendous income. So we add in. Does everybody understand? So they never look bad. It's like the commentator routine in a sports game where one guy calls the play and the other guy adds the color. V Vincent's getting really good now and competent. And so are some of his people. So that he can now hold the meeting and he can't wait to do it. So we don't just shove somebody out to hold the meeting. All along, he's been helping out, showing parts of the plan and so have some of his people, right? So now he holds the meeting on the, C, on the A1 level. We do this in sets of threes. A, B, C, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, why? They're like first downs in football. I want to move the ball that far. Every three levels, 30 years of doing this, you guys tell me if you haven't found the same thing. Three levels of building, one person at least will pick it up and duplicate. One person will end up showing the plan and taking on the leadership. But I don't want to depend on that. I'm going to build at the bottom another three levels so that he learns how to be the leader and take over. And then that's what happened. So now at the meeting, we have to do cross-pollination now? We have to do that. And we got to realize, too, Benson may have spent some time over here. We showed him over here to keep it simple. But you got to remember, Benson's over here working with Phil, working with Mary, 
working with Steve, because I can't remember your name on the slide, and doing all these different things. So he's going to be going back and forth at times, and he may all of a sudden have what happened, Jerry? He may have two groups right. in different areas, so right? So somebody here, who has somebody who knows somebody in Long Island? Somebody knew somebody. Yep. One of these people knows somebody in Long Island. So that means that over where Phil is building, we're going to have a meeting. Now, I can't expect Phil to handle that other meeting, so I'm going to go over there, guys. I'm going to go with you to Long Island to do the meeting. Now, that's going to take me at least two nights a week because I never book a meeting if I can't hold the follow-up because it ruins the person. And what I set in motion carries a motion, and that's a cardinal sin. But explain that, Jared, because what you're saying, you and I talked about this the other night. What he's saying, I want to make sure you guys all get this. If he's going somewhere, he's not going to go in and do one meeting and leave. Because if he does that, nothing ever gets done. He's going to go in and do one meeting, and he's going to book a follow-up with those people at that meeting for the next day, because it's the only way he can get things going fast enough to create the momentum. I throw the person in the, a pool of water in the ocean in a, in a, in a, a full of sharks and let them drown. I got to go back. I got to be with them. Does everybody understand that? So guys, I'm going to be spending two nights over here that I would have been spending with you. And we've been working really hard. Okay. So you have to find two people or two referrals in Long Island. And we'll have a quarry tomorrow night and we'll sit down and go through a drill of how we can find them, the people that you know that might know somebody, and we'll start networking it, and we'll help you do the calls. We can even do a call we'll do workshop. A call workshop and, and then call over. when I go there, when I'm away from you over here in Long Island, I'm actually building your group over here when I do the meeting for her prospect. And then I'm going to tell all these people, you might as well find somebody back over there because we're building the business and it's the same team. And so when we go build over there every night, you're getting more people in BV and so are they when we work here. So we become one team and that's how we do it. Right, Phil? That's right. I mean, at this I, point, I Jerry, you it. really have, you know, obviously because, you know, you're in different, two different geographic locations, you have your schedule. It's good to kind of plan right. things out and be efficient. We just taught you ABC pattern how you do follow-ups, how you get the follow-up, how you bring the team with you, and now it's branching out. It just doesn't stay in one line. You just don't have a binary, binomial situation straight down, do you? It starts to branch out. You're working in multiple places. Your team is doing it with you. This takes a strategist. If you want to maximize your efforts, you've got to take one night every couple weeks and sit down with your schedule and your organization chart and actually pick out where you're going to do the combinations each night where the meeting is and have everybody call the people to go to that meeting. At the same time, in these four legs, okay, Phil and I are working to get everybody to bring their people to the other meetings. Then I look at the cross-pollination going on and I talk to everybody about finding people in that other location so that we can be building cross-pollination and combinations all at the same time, multiplying my efficiency by four to eight times. When I build that area, I'm building this area. When I'm building that area, this area, I'm building that area. When I'm building in any leg, I'm building all the other legs. And we're moving forward, A to B to C, getting the follow-up, shaking the bean jar, priming, the pump, priming the pump. So, Benson now showed the plan. We have an NMTSS seminar this weekend. You're going to get to meet a lot of other successful unfranchised owners. And Benson, you're going to get recognized because you went master coordinator or executive coordinator in one month. So, here it is. It's a seminar. And Benson gets recognized, and he comes up and he says, I want to tell you how I built this business. I learned the hard way. I didn't know anything, but I followed the system. And then I realized I had what it took. And I want to tell you something else. I'm earning checks, and that 
Jim Winkler and Andrew Weissman and JR, they didn't do anything. I did it all myself. They held one meeting for me, and I did it all myself. And I love the business now. I'm a success. And we'll sit there in the back of the room, and tears will roll down our cheeks because another leader has been born. And you see, but notice something. Benson never even made a decision. He didn't even know what we were doing or what we were getting in. We made it work before he decided. There was no decision to make. It was already working and he was already taking on the leadership. It happened organically. And that's how I do it. Drop me in any city. Drop me in any country. And in 90 days, we'll have this going. And you know what the good news is? You can do it too. Uh, and if you're the upline, if you have a pump, and Jim, we know there's a lot of them, one of your pumps is losing its prime, or maybe you haven't pumped it in two years, in three years, and it's getting a little unprimed, you can do this. You can get your team together, get a bean jar. Jerry, you know, Go ahead. Phil joined Let's us have Phil, Phil talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Phil went Tell them what you saw, what you read. All right, well, I, I built my business in 1994, 95, 96. Um, I built it to director and then moved on up the ladder to field vice president. <laughs> I've been here 20 years. And my income's been really strong, but the last few years, there was really no excitement in the group. There was no zip. There was no momentum. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. I was buying the tickets. We were closing people. We were doing sign-ups but it just didn't seem to be happening, and it, it was killing me. And then something magical happened. I went to London, and I went to Madrid, and I went into the homes with JR and Andrew, and I watched JR up close and personal, going home to home to home. It was amazing to me. This is the CEO of a billion dollar company, getting down and dirty in the trenches, doing what he's teaching you to do. Love it, love it. It's about to follow up. <laughs> what was amazing about it more than anything else was this philosophy he had where he was really seemingly totally unconcerned with closing Benson to the business and getting him signed up. And he kept drilling it into me and Andrew and saying, no, my focus, I see everyone at that meeting as an open door to three to 500 people I don't know. And it's far more important to me to open those doors and see who's on the other side than it is for me to sign him up. That's not important. I got to open those doors. And he went home to home to home, and he builds momentum like crazy. People start scratching their head, wondering what's wrong with them, how, why he didn't come and sign them up yet. And then the signups come in droves. And while I started to watch and listen and learn, as he said earlier, it's hard to change your ways, and it was hard for me to rework it, um, but I did, and I started teaching my group and getting them to implement this new mindset, this new way of thinking. Don't measure your progress by how many people you sponsor. Measure your progress by how many possibilities you're creating. And as they start to adopt it, the momentum has been incredible. The whole swing in my group has gone up in numerous groups that I have. Everything's on the grow. Absolutely amazing. Everything he teaches you from this stage is not just talk. He walks the walk, too. He does what he teaches. And if you do it, you'll see the results. All right. All right. Thank you, Phil. So in conclusion, Benson became a hopeless success. A hopeless success because we didn't leave it up to him. We did it with him and found the people through him that were going to do it, and he rose to become a leader. And he's a hopeless success because people underneath him are going to do it with him or without him. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Okay. And everybody in here is somewhere in this situation. If you have a weaning leg that's kind of atrophying and the prime is being lost, 
this is what you do. If you're midway to being a check earner at 1500 every week and it's not strong enough, this is what you do. You find somebody at the bottom in each leg and you start priming the pump and you get the team to work with you and you develop your own team. And you work it from A to B to C, booking the meetings in their location whenever you can, because that's a touchdown rather than a first down, but always getting the follow-up. And you fill the bean jar, and you get them to fill the bean jar, and you don't sponsor two, activate, and stop. You continue doing two a week, and two a week, and two a week, and two a week, until, and you get that to duplicate, until you've done 100, and you will have a championship team. You will have really great people down in depth that'll motivate the whole leg and it'll hit momentum and you can't stop it. And that's when you find, that's when it becomes a Pam and Tony type of leg that has so many vice presidents and directors in it. It doesn't happen just by luck getting one person in who goes out and builds it. You might get lucky in the process, and so have I. I just got lucky this last three months when I found a guy by the name of Joe Cartagena. But, uh, but you'll see, I was lucky one time when I found Dennis, but we still build it. So my point is this, tomorrow is the first day of the rest of the dash. It's the first day in the business. What are you going to do differently next week, tomorrow, than you were in the last year, last month, last week? Because it's what you do different now from what you learned here, not the information. Because information without application does not create transformation. You need to have application of the information to get transformation and change. And the change will be your success. We'll see you at the top.